Is the fan okay or should I move it? Wait, is this thing recording? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh god. Hi guys, hello, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing well. So in today's video I have I should say your name right now. <laughs> I have Rhoda here with me today, guys. Um, you guys will get to know her a lot more mm -hmm. as the video continues. So, um, this is Rhoda, one of my very good friends. And today we're going to do a get ready with me, but we're going to, it's going to be a chit chat video. Yeah. So, you guys can get to know me a bit more and then you can get to know her, what she does. Guys, this woman right here is just amazing she's so inspirational i'm excited i've never done this before so you guys <laughs> this is professional this is pro i've never done this before so i am not a professional makeup artist do not laugh at me my screamer. my brow goes this way or my brow goes that way right let's start okay i just asked her actually i asked what do you do first are you eyebrows first kind of girl yeah brow first i feel like i do brows first because when i do my foundation and then I try to clean under my eyes. Yeah. And then I put like a lighter color. Everything just gets that way. I definitely agree with why you do it. Yeah, it's you're, a you know what I mean, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, a lot it's a lot easier, easier for, for blending as well. Yeah. I'm but for me, I like to do my foundation and my concealer. And, and then we do. But I'm going to start prep my skin first. Okay. But well, you're going to do your eyebrows. Yeah, so I'm going to do my brows first. Yeah. But before I do that, I'm going to also clean my face. Yeah. Okay. So I'm using my Argan Mystery. Vitamin C serum. Well, me, I'm just a single time. <laughs> so, Rhoda, mm -hmm. mm, tell us about Rhoda. Give them a little bit of background. I don't know. Who Rhoda is. Okay, Rhoda is a girl. Uh, no. <laughs> oh my god. I thought I thought it was something else. <laughs> okay, who is Rhoda? Um, so basically, I am an entrepreneur. Yes. <laughs> So I am an entrepreneur, I am also a humanitarian and by that I run a non-profit and I am a blogger. So and that's a, that's how I actually met the We met the, at yeah the, the bloggers, bloggers point. Yeah, yeah they did blog. like a summer get together thing last year. Yeah. So that was where we met. And funny enough, we didn't speak a lot on that day. We didn't, but no, I felt like I, felt like I just felt connected to yeah, you. Yeah, I, I took pictures with you. Yeah, yeah. More I, than oh any other God. person. I was going through my phone and I saw a picture of you. Oh. We had the same hair. Yeah, we you did. Remember? We had the same hair, yes. <laughs> and then she told me she was married. I was like, what? Yeah. But I used to be us. Really? She had like this very cute dress on, just super cute. I was like, who is this cute girl? So if you're a brown girl, follow me. Follow me. Foundation <laughs> girl, follow me. me. So I'm using motives. Yeah, motives pretty brush. So we're gonna break down everything that you do. Hmm. So let's start off first with blogging. So um, tell them about okay, your blog. So what is? It? Okay, blog. so basically, um. Um, my blog is called Adore Speaks yes. and um, it's a lifestyle and motivational blog and um, yeah so basically like everything lifestyle from fashion, beauty and um, fashion, beauty, restaurants, reviews, um, brands so basically everything lifestyle because I love I love lifestyle, I love fashion, I love music, I love fitness, I love food, I love everything that has to do with lifestyle basically. Yeah. So yeah, so my, if you go on my blog, you find like all of those things there and the motivation. You do a lot, Rhoda, like... The, I do a lot that I can handle. Yeah. When I do a lot, I'm like, I do a lot I can handle. Because I feel like we can, we can all do so many things. Mm -hmm. I feel like yeah, we are all capable of doing so many things. If, Dan will take our own like chains of different companies. Why can't I? Yeah. yeah. If That's a good thing actually. Yeah, if Richard Branson can own like up to like almost 150 business under Virgin from airline to water to foundation to whatever, like he owns so many things. Why can't I do the same? I think my foundation is blended. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> so sweet I am. <laughs> So Dee, what about you? So tell me how did you start um, YouTube like? So I started YouTube, funny enough, in my final year of uni. Big mistake. <laughs> I'll tell you why it was a big mistake because it was my final year. So I had, I, I had so much I was juggling in terms of my course 
because I was studying pharmacy so I couldn't dedicate as much time as I would have liked to mm -hmm. when I started my YouTube channel and I just started because I love watching YouTube like YouTube was just the thing mm -hmm. that I I watched in my spare time yeah so um, yeah so I started my channel to it was supposed to be a makeup channel because who's calling you I enjoyed you know sitting in front of a camera recording and all of that I love makeup as well so I was like let's combine the two and make yes. it happen together yeah. so yeah that was why I started my YouTube channel nothing profound guys and I had a lot of encouragement from my friends as well because they saw how much I loved the YouTube community mm -hmm. like you should join it. So the next thing that you do is you also have an NGO. Yeah. GIF. Let's talk about GIF. So GIF is basically my baby. So um my NGO is called GIF. And GIF stands for it's pronounced GIF, not GIF. <laughs> not whatever but GIF. So it's like, like chief. Saying, chief, yeah but a G. So basically my NGO is basically for women and children and um you do amazing work guys thank you d i'm focused on women and children and um, right now we're working in the north northern part of nigeria and yeah so we do like education empowerment programs um um health care shelter community outreaches um um Basically, everything that the Millennium Development Goals is asking everyone to do. We've been running for the past... We've been working for the past how many years? Unofficially, I can't even count, but officially <laughs> since 2014, because that's when I put in for official registration of my NGO. You know what I love most about it is your passion for it, for what you do yeah, with Jade. Like, you. she has so much passion. And it comes through in what she does as well, which is so amazing. And it's amazing when you have passion for helping people. Yeah. Thank so, you so much. Yeah. Because there's some people that just do it for the sake of doing it. Yeah, I'm helping. But she's so dedicated to what I, she's trying to do. Yeah. I think I think I think I think the passion part comes from knowing that this is what I want to do. I feel like if you're not interested in it, if it's not something that you want to do. Um, I always advise people don't do humanitarian work if you think you're not going to be fully dedicated to it. D, also thank you so much for all your encouragement and everything. Thank you so much. Oh, this, this is a sweet friend. Guys. <laughs> is a sweet well, friend. you know, so on top of blogging, running an NGO, she also has another company called Cape Town. So why are you laughing? What's going on? I'm not laughing, but I'm watching you. Okay, come to me. I was just exposing her too. Okay. Oh yeah, no. what are you exposing? They already know everything. So what are you exposing? Okay. So she also has Cape Town. So she's an amazing. Oh guys, oh my goodness, she makes amazing cakes. Both. I hate with making wedding cakes too. Just let me be out there. Don't don't book her for wedding cake. What's that? Hey, your eyebrows look nice from here, though. No, I'm being serious. Ah, ah. Hey, makeup artist. Please, she's makeup mocking me. <laughs> Do stop mocking me. Girl. Fine, I take my compliments back. I hate doing eyebrows. I think it's the hardest. Oh part my gosh. I think it's so hard. Oh, I hate it. And some people I are so like, good. I know they don't dry too much. <laughs> Make up shit like them. Yeah. Ah, gosh. God. And there's I want to be great. There's these eyebrows like I know, give me like so much life. I'm just looking at what you're doing here. You stop looking at me, you're making me. Sorry now, I don't like I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I hate doing my brows. Oh, okay, let's go. So basically as, as I was saying, yeah, I was saying Cape that Town. yeah, Cape Town. So I said Cape Town, um, as we well were making money when I got out of uni, I said I couldn't ask my parents for money. So my friends were like, oh no, why don't you just bake and they will buy for me? I was like, really, you buy? I'm like, yeah, we'll buy. I was like, okay, if you say so. So I started baking. I can remember my first cake that I baked professionally, professionally. And then my friends bought and I was like, wow, I can make money from this. And then the first Valentine's um, order that I got, I made about, that was then, you know, I made about 60k or so from one day sale of Valentine. That's cupcakes. I was like, wow. This is you interesting. This is, this is the way. <laughs> this is my calling. Let me do this. So I started um, um, 
baking. Then my mom enrolled me into baking school because she saw how dedicated I was to baking. Oh wow, I didn't know that. So you actually went to... I quit after two weeks. <laughs> I was like, never. The man told us to Omodo. Do you know what Omodo is? Omodo is basically like house help. So we'll come to class every morning and then she'll tell us, Rhoda, go and mix the cakes. Are you serious? So she's basically then, using Yeah, using us to wow. work. And I was like, Ma, we're not learning anything here. You've never told us anything apart from vanilla cakes. How do I make chocolate cakes? You're like, eh, just add cocoa. How do I make red velvet? <laughs> add red coloring. I'm like, Nigeria's I'm like, bye, Fifi. So I quit after two weeks and my mom was like, you must refund me my money. After I paid for you, you went to Quicks. I was like, mommy, I will refund you someday. So I just went to buy it. I went and got books, baking books. And then oh, I said, okay. I used one month to practice. And then I said, teaching myself how to bake, how to cover, basically everything that I know now. So Cake Town has been good. But now we're evolving because we want to start making our own cake mixes. So we can find our oh. cake mixes in stores and buy. Instead of um, buying the cake, instead of buying cake, so, so you can get like pancake mix, mm. waffle mix, the real Betty Cock up in here. <laughs> yeah, I need to wash my brushes, guys. Do you know you're not the only one? Like, a lot of girls don't, don't wash, a friend of mine has not washed her wash brush in three years. <gasps> yes. Okay, no, I'm not that bad, guys. No, so like, I haven't washed no. my brush in three in years. years. I know, so I haven't washed it. In you know, the, the thing is, I, I, love my girl, I don't like washing my brushes, so guys. I don't like a lot of things. But <laughs> but whenever I wash my brushes, I'm so happy because like when you go to put your makeup on, it just it flawless. just goes on. Yeah. yeah. I don't use Nigerian brands. I'm always scared of Nigerian brands, but now I've started using Nigerian brands. So my first foundation Nigerian brand made or whatever is this H and E. The guy and Esther. Should using the eyebrow? Using, yeah, so this is I'm using, and I like the packaging. Almost looks like all them. No, it look, reminds me of Nas. Yeah, Nas. Them uh, very classy mm -hmm. packaging, and it's cheap, just four five. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to be using. I'm, but it's too dark for me. This is shade coffee. This is coffee. It's too dark. I'm going to be mixing this with Maybelline Fix Me. I love Maybelline Fix Me. For my eyebrows, guys, I used my Rimmel pencil to outline it, and then I filled it in with my Hey Guy and Esther um, brow definer. Yeah. So yeah. So back to why I um, make up. Mm -hmm. It's your turn. Who's calling you? My mother. -in -law. <laughs> I'll call her later. Um, yeah. So it wasn't. So yeah, I used to do makeup. I practiced on my face a lot. And it wasn't until I went to uni that I realized that oh my gosh I can actually do makeup. Yeah. Because whenever we would go out raving, thank God for Jesus, we don't do that anymore. <laughs> a lot of my friends would come to my room to get ready and ask me to do to their make makeup. Them. But now when I look at the pictures of the makeup I did, man, I feel sorry for them. <laughs> I'm but so you're learning them. But then they thought they looked amazing and I, and that's all, I, think, I think that's all that matters though I, yeah I so they because then they would come back and say oh D, do me this look and I'll do it and they would love it so I guess for then it wasn't bad mm -hmm. but now looking bad it was bad I did not moisturize my face I don't moisturize my face with this clinic I just have this little tiny clinic thing in my purse so I'm going to moisturize my face, isn't it? The, what do you call them? The, the, the um, wipes had, has a little bit of moisturizer in it, so mm -hmm. let's manage that. This girl is not... Let me see, is it flicking? It's behaving. I get to know, I get to These brows are always flicking. I mean... They take so flicking. damn long. You know what I want to try? This microblading. Have you heard of it? Hmm, that's how... Do, do you watch my snap one day where I went for you? Program that they did microblading. Yeah, yeah, with um, mm. what's her face, Tracy. Yeah, with Tracy. So they come on, get one with microblading, and they said to last for up to like two years. But two you're supposed years. to go back and like top it up and stuff. You can't just do it and that's the end now. The girl said that's the end, though. Are you serious? I said the girl is fake. But anyway, so guys, please disclaimer again because I think I have to disclaimer. <laughs> my skin, I'm on my period and the flow is around, so my skin has been breaking out like a crazy person. <laughs> so now I'm just going to, I'm going to, I'm going for a neutral look today. Yeah. So like a, I don't know. browns, gold. Mm, for my eyes, it's going to be warm. Warm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think I'm. I've been loving do glam. Pink. Oh yeah, do pink. 
So I'm gonna do pink. Yeah, she'll like pink. a pinkish look. I'm not a pink girl. When I say pink, I don't mean like the but I yeah. sure? I sure <laughs> but like pink. a nice pink look powder. Mm. Where's your under eye concealer? I've already put it. When you put it? After my foundation. Oh really? <laughs> so, I'm gonna do my eyes now. Should I wait for me? No, don't wait for me. <laughs> so I'm gonna use two palettes actually to do my eyeshadow today and i think the look i'm gonna do is a look that i wore in one of my videos um the, my invade the invade my privacy video a lot of people like that oh, look. I so like i'm gonna it. do, I'm like gonna it. do it that if i can, that can remember like it, it. Yeah. <laughs> but that's the look i'm gonna go for so yeah did you normally watch your own youtube videos like did you go back to watch it um, as, if you as soon as I have uploaded the video, yeah, I don't watch it again. I forgot to prime my face. D, D made me forget to prime my face. I have very oily skin. When I mean oily, I mean like oil producing state skin. So this primer I was introduced to. Oh, this is the pond that. This pond. And I'd like to try it. Yeah. I've been using this Kudi, Kudi Cosmetics, also a Nigerian brand. Kudi Cosmetic All Mask Mattifier Primer, whatever. But man, I don't know. This thing, I don't know. I, I don't know how it works. But someone says she mix this with this, and I'll be perfect. I'll be Gucci. Since I've moved, like I'm enjoying trying Nigerian brands. Really? Yeah, I'm enjoying trying them out. Mm -hmm. Just to see what they have on offer. So I said I was going for a very neutral look oh so i'm going to be using my uh, do, do, do you normally use your contour palette sometimes for eyeshadow yes i look guys i'm one of those people i use everything for everything anything <laughs> works and you guys i am using um this la la color i love makeup contour palettes i've had it for like maybe a year or two now so i love using this brown open now <laughs> sorry so i love using this brown here this color it's going to be very good on my eye so it gives it for contouring too but i love using it for like eyeshadow so i'm going to be to like do all over my i don't know see i'm not a makeup artist okay. so right now oh gosh i'm using this reddish pinky color this color right here i've been loving recently so i'm using that on top of like a purple color so it gives it like a nice the what you guys call this thing when you do all about this transition though yeah. Then I am using my famous Amos Carly Bible. Please, mm -hmm. anyone that can get with the new Carly Bible palette, I would love you forever. I tried to order that thing, but it was giving me help. So really? I contacted Carly. I was like, Carly, can you send me like one? She hasn't replied me. Anyways, so this is the Carly Bible palette. If you, if you follow me, I think they follow me. Follow me on Snap, or if you're friends with me, or if you know me personally, you know that I am Carly. We go, we go way, way back. back. Go way back. She's like my friend I've never met. So yeah, we talk. We talk. I'm not kidding. I'm not playing. She's actually been deadly serious, guys. Yeah. Tell we, them about the competition you won. Yeah. So I won one of our competition. I sent like a box, tons of makeup, like a huge box of makeup. She sent me camera. She sent me ring lights. She sent me tripod. Sent me everything I needed for like starting my own YouTube channel. Every single thing. Sent me. Makeup I've even opened. So Kylie is a sweetheart. We talk almost like every three to two weeks. I feel like I just need to darken this a little bit. Just a little bit. I'm just gonna put that in my outer crack. Wait, a little bit faster. Do who's your favorite YouTuber? Oh like what your YouTuber that you like YouTuber that you like? Well 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 do you wanna guess? Mmm uh, you because <laughs> I love me mm -hmm. apart from but me apart from me I wouldn't even say I'm my favorite youtuber <laughs> I'm so damn inconsistent but guys I am getting better now but I would say my favorite youtuber guys is someone that I wish we're very similar in terms of inconsistency so I wish that she was consistent Shirley oh she yeah Shirley. I don't think there should be makeup yeah She's, yeah, she does makeup. Yeah, she's very important. Her videos are amazing. Yeah. She's got such an amazing personality. Like, and it really comes through in her videos. 
I just love her personality. She's so bubbly and her videos are so clean and sharp and like yeah, they're very everything clean. is amazing. So clean. Yeah. For me, so who's yours? Um you know what? I would say Kylie. Of course. Gosh. You just spent like the last three Kylie! minutes talking about her. You know I like Jackie. Jackie Aina. I yeah. also like Oh, we we're just talking about how honest Jackie is. She is brutal honest, like cuts throat honest. Mm -hmm. Especially when it comes to brands and stuff. Yeah. Did you guys see her video where she was telling us about how Tart Cosmetics um no longer sends her PR PR packages? Yeah. Because she said one one product was not good. This brands are so sad. Brands are cool. But do you not actually like Patricia Bright? Did you watch her latest video? I don't um, like Patricia Bright. Yeah. No, you don't like her. It's not that I don't like her, don't get me wrong. I think I I do find myself watching her videos, but I wouldn't say she's one of my favorites. Wow. This is my secret. This is my life. Not my life, but this is something I live for. This NYX Bright Idea. See NYX Bright. NYX Bright Idea Illuminating Stick. So I'm going to just put in here I got a glow stick over my face what's the best part about Nigeria since you move back like what have you like you know why come on meeting me of course <laughs> <laughs> well um I'd say the thing I love the most about Nigeria is there's just so many opportunities to do so much mm -hmm. like I never would have thought about starting my own hair company if I didn't move to Nigeria. Mm -hmm. So it's it's what it's Nigeria is one of those those places where there's still so much. Yeah, there's still so much that's unavailable that you can just yeah, come and the start. market is here. Yeah. Yeah. Do you get what I mean? We have an event this weekend, don't we, Rada? Yes. So in addition to everything I do, I also run a hub. Now this is how it is. My company is an educational lifestyle company, and I run an I run an NGO. So. Basically, my company, under my company, I have like some subs under it. So that's where my Cape Town company is. That's where Sisters Network is. Now, Sisters Network, Sisters Network is a hub for young women. Now, Sisters Network doesn't take anything from me. It's a hub for young women, female entrepreneurs and professionals. When I mean professionals, I mean people in the corporate world. So not necessarily entrepreneurs too. But so if you're a banker, if you're a lawyer, Sisters Network is also for you. And now the reason why I created Sisters Network is because I felt like there was a need for all of us to come together. Now, mm. um, I discovered that everyone is always after being an entrepreneur now. There's the small business entrepreneur mm. group. There's this let's support each other sisters entrepreneur group. There's some mm. entrepreneur group. And now it's almost like the people in the corporate world are now being shamed. Yeah. So it's almost like if you're working in the corporate world, you're not fulfilling purpose. And I have friends that will tell me, oh, that so because I'm working at the, at the bank, that's, that I you saying that I don't, I'm not fulfilling purpose, but this is what I like. I like to be in the corporate world. I like to work in World Bank. I like to work in UN and all of that. And I'm like, that is fantastic. I have friends that are doctors that I admire. Like, I can't do what they do. So I discovered that Sisters Network will bring everyone together. And, and then if you're a member of Sisters Network, you have access to getting discounts on products, discount on things. So we'll just make your life beautiful, easier. Basically all of that. So yeah, Sisters Network will just bring women together yeah. and leverage off each other. So if you're a doctor and someone else is a blogger, you guys can work together. Mm -hmm. The blogger could one day need the assistance of a doctor. So guys, now I always set my entire face once I'm done with a normal powder. My my this new powder has finished, so I'll just use a normal one. My loose powder has finished. D, I'm going to do my eyeliner for me. Yes, girl. Uh, this is really good. I don't know why I don't have like the own studio. Ah ah, flicky. Thanks, girl. I don't know as well as I'm begging you. I'm even wearing lashes. No, I'm going to wear. I'm begging you to teach me. You. How to wear lashes. So she's going to wear my lashes. I'm going to do my liner. Let me do the rest of my face. So now I'm going to be using my NARS. I love NARS. I'm going to use my last NARS. 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 I'm going to be using my NARS um, contour kit to contour my face. Lately, I've just been using um, powder contour to contour my face rather than cream. 
So you guys, I think I'm okay with my eyes like this. I'm yeah, looking for you put mascara. Too. I'm looking for D. Where's my mascara? Can't wear lashes and I own a lot, but I can't wear them. So that's why I'm not a pro makeup artist. I'm just someone that loves makeup and own loads of products, but I would rather put my lashes in my bag and go find someone that will wear it for me. Mm -hmm. Look, uh, Come Come. So I'm using this last part of Kylie Barbie's palette, this last one. This one is my shade. This one. No. Oh, I can mix the two. Ooh. Ooh, I like the grey one. Which one do you think? I like the grey one. So this is cropped up in the Tarte lip paint. And this is so fake. So I'm going to be mixing some of them for my lips. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is glowing with pride. <laughs> I like pink. So I don't put only pink on my lips. So this gives me the perfect shade of nude. So it's going to put a little. I'm just gonna blend that highlight a little bit more. Just so so nice. For my lips today, I think we're gonna do pink. So I'm gonna take Antique Velvet by Mac, which is like a brown color. I'm gonna put that. That's why I look at you when you say you're going to do pink and you put out brown. <laughs> I'm gonna use it to line my lips first. The brown, I love this color, it's such a true brown color. So, I'm trying to get this girl to start a YouTube channel to add it to our list of all things I do, <laughs> guys. So, leave a comment down below if you agree with me. After using anti velvet, I'm gonna take Whirl also by MAC and put that on the rest of my list. What do you guys well, think? For an amateur person, did I try? <laughs> I'm just gonna set my my time first day on camera. This is my first time on camera. Yeah. It's a D on YouTube camera, not on YouTube camera. camera. On YouTube ca camera. So this is my first time. So what do you guys think? Did I did I do well? Just keep drown setting. your face in setting. Do you actually have your bath now? I know. Like you have literally had your bath. <laughs> Okay, I have to like something like how to. <laughs> so yeah. that is the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for hanging out with me. Today. Thanks for having me. And oh my god, D made me the best <laughs> launch yet. I mean, thank you so much, D, for in bringing me on your channel. Thanks for giving me a thumbs up. Yes. So don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and tell a friend to tell a friend tell to tell another friend you know. to check out my channel and check out her blog, Adore Speaks. And we will speak to you guys. Well, I will speak to you guys in my. And let me know if you guys want me to start my own channel. Yes. And then, yeah. Yeah. Thanks, guys. <laughs> How do you feel? This is what I do, and then I'll just go wash it off. Is it eh, wash? That video has to show. As in, I'm I'm thinking, is there enough? <laughs> do your makeup is flicky. <laughs> you have to find somewhere to wash. <laughs> Bye. Where are you going? I don't know. <laughs> Can you ask her? I'm not going to go and poop.